I'm testing out the Dyson Airwrap to see if it's really worth the hefty price tag. I've been using it for a couple months now and after trial and error, spending some time with each attachment, I wanted to take you through my experience and give you my honest review. This year in self-care, I've been on a mission for luscious hair at home and I think the Dyson Airwrap might be a piece to that puzzle. At a price of $599, the Dyson Airwrap comes with six different attachments. One blow dryer head, two smoothing brushes, one volume brush, and two curling barrels. There is also a cleaning brush for the round volume brush so you can keep it nice and clean. They come in this really nice package that I've actually kept and have been using as storage. There are also some displays for the Airwrap online, but for me personally, I like to keep it away to reduce the clutter. The base of the Airwrap has an on and off switch, two levels of heat along with a cold blast, and three speed levels. To attach, it's really simple. You just align the head with the four slots, push it in and it automatically locks. And to detach, you just press the unlock button. The attachments are also compatible with previous editions of the Airwrap, which is a huge plus in my book. So now that we know what's all included, let's dive into every single attachment. First up is the hair dryer, which has two different modes. For the dry mode, the air comes out of this opening and you just use it to dry your hair. It dries fairly quickly, so I was pretty impressed with it. It kind of reminds me of when you attach your styling nozzle to a blow dryer to kind of focus the air in one direction. and it dries fairly quickly, so I was pretty impressed with it. To switch to the smooth mode, you just turn the knob here, place the bar on your hair, and smooth it down. This is supposed to smooth down flyaways, and prior to using it, I was a little bit of a skeptic. I thought it was just a little gimmicky, but after using it, I did notice that my hair was smoother and I had less flyaways. I just wanted to show you a comparison of how my hair looks air dried versus Dyson air wrap dried. Next up are the smoothing brushes. There's a firm smoothing brush, which creates straight straight styles in coarse hair, and a soft smoothing brush which creates straight styles in fine hair. Now I did use both brushes, but it's a little difficult to tell the difference because I already have straight hair. Now normally when I let my hair air dry, it has little kinks in it and it doesn't look as smooth, but when I use the soft smoothing brush, I did notice it to be a little silkier. Now I feel like the brush works a little bit better once your hair is washed and it's like 90% dry, you just finish it off with the brush. Which brings me to my absolute favorite attachment the round volume brush. Now, ever since I tried cutting my hair at home, I have been learning how to give myself blowouts and it takes forever. Not to mention, I am probably sweaty by the end of it, but let's see this baby in action. For this one, I like to have my hair about 85% dry with my favorite mousse and blowout cream. I section out my hair and start with my bangs since they dry the fastest. I use this attachment almost every day to style my bangs and it does it so quickly. I hold it on high heat for about five seconds and I end on the cold blast for five seconds to make the style last longer. For the rest of my hair, I will rinse and repeat, altering heat and cold and I think this is where the air up really shines because normally with a blowout you use both hands one for the dryer and one for the brush since the air wrap acts as both, it makes it easier and faster to style with less frustration. I have literally cut my blowout sessions in half. It takes me about 20 to 25 minutes to complete a full blowout, and I wanted to show you how the blowout lasts over the course of three days. Each night I wore a silk bonnet and just put a roller in my bangs. I didn't do any touch-ups, and here is how it looked over three days. And I think it looks pretty good, minus the flyaways that I just noticed on day one. I probably should have used the smooth brush but that's one thing that I love about going to a salon and getting a blowout is that your hair lasts multiple days and it just looks silky fresh. Honestly can't rave enough about the round volume brush. I literally look forward to washing my hair and giving myself a blowout now whereas when I had to do it with a blow dryer I was like dreading to do it so that speaks volumes. No pun intended. <laughs> now, once I got the technique down, I wanted to try this out on a different hair type. So I enlisted the help of my mom who has really natural curly hair. And this is how her blowout came out. Next up are the curling barrels, which I think are probably the most fun to do just because they wrap your hair around and it is legit like magic. There are two different size barrels and you can change the direction of the curl with this knob at the top. I really like that they added this feature in because in a previous version, you had to actually switch barrels to change directions. So I love that they're improving on their previous versions. That's a huge plus. And for styling, you can use them in a couple different ways. You can use it like a curling iron and wrap your hair around or my personal favorite you can let the air do the wrapping for you. This technique does have a little bit of a learning curve but I found that wrapping your hair away from your face works best 
and also adding in some styling cream before helps the style last longer. And if you really want the style to last, you can hit it with a cold blast at the end, roll up your hair and pin it down to let it cool. I wanted to see the difference for each barrel, so I curled one half of my head with a large barrel and the other half with the small. Obviously, with the larger barrel, you can grab more hair and style it quicker versus the smaller one, you have to grab a smaller amount of hair and that adds on to your styling time. After spending some time with this product, I will say that I am quite the fan. I haven't used any of my other styling products, so if you're looking for a product that's all-inclusive, all-in-one, this is definitely the product for you. For quality, I'm rating this a five star. You can get multiple jobs done. It's innovative and intuitive, and I love that there are multiple modes and different buttons for airflow. For the price, I'm gonna rate this a four star. I'm not gonna lie, the price is very steep, but they are always having sales, which my hubby actually gifted me mine and bought it on sale. And speaking of sales, I wanted to let you all know that we are having a Valentine's Day BOGO sale on some of our merch. That is buy one, get one free on plushies, pins, patches, shirts, and even our coloring book. I've put some links down below, or you can head over to iscupwig.com to take advantage of the deals. Now let's get back to the Dyson Airwrap. But if you consider the price of a blow dryer, and we'll take mine for example, which is by Dry Bar, it cost me $2.99 for one product. And another product that I used to use a lot, which was my curling iron, I have the Beach Waver, and when I purchased it, it was $2.29. That's already $530 for two products, and I believe my husband got it on sale for $4.99 the math and they always have sales and deals so just look out for that but the amount of time that i've saved doing my hair and not going to a salon i think is pretty valuable for portability i'm rating this a two star since there are a lot of attachments it's not really something that you'd want to take on a trip with you the barrel is pretty big and like mentioned before i store it in the box it came in which does take up a substantial amount of space i think if i were to get rid of my other styling products i might have space to store it but it's hard to let go. And for ease of use, I'm gonna rate this a five star. Obviously with anything new, there is a learning curve, but after spending some time with it, you get amazing results with little effort. I found myself excited to use it, excited to wash and style my hair, which is really hard to fathom. It's been a really long time since I felt this way about a product, and that is the type of feeling that you should feel when you buy something new and invest in something like this. That sheer joy of just wanting to use something, learning how to use it, loving how your hair looks afterwards, and just feeling beautiful in your skin. I feel like it should be an ad for them the way that I'm describing this, but this is completely my opinion. I absolutely love it. I've had my friends come over to try it. It's sparked me wanting to learn how to style my hair, what kind of products to use, and I don't know, all around, I really do love it. <laughs> I think the product is worth it in the end if you buy it on sale. <laughs> Never pay full price what my mom always said. But I hope you all enjoyed this review. This is the first time I've ever done something this extensive over a product and it was a lot of fun. So let me know if you want me to do another one. Leave a comment below on what you would like me to try next and check out some more videos of mine right here and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.